the resurgence of COVID-19 in the United States, driven by the highly contagious Delta variant, is creating a new mess in the country's responses to the once-in-a-century pandemic that is rapidly straining its medical resources and healthcare system. Most states and jurisdictions in the U.S. are experiencing substantial or high levels of community transmission, according to the latest data by the U.S. Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, or CDC. With both hospitalization and deaths going up, the CDC is projecting that a total of up to 662,000 COVID-19 deaths were reported by early September. Several states, including Florida, Arkansas, Louisiana, and Oregon, were reported to have had more people hospitalized with COVID-19 than at any other point throughout the public health crisis, with nursing staffs are badly strained. Data from the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services showed that COVID-19 patients are now occupying 20% of the country's total ICU capacity. As of August the 6th, ICUs in Florida were almost full, with 89% of beds in use, 42% of which were COVID-19 patients. According to the Florida Hospital Association, as of August the 3rd, COVID-19 hospitalizations were at 113% of the state's peak in July 2020. According to the New York Times in Houston, Texas, at least two hospitals have been so overwhelmed with COVID-19 patients this week that officials had to put up overflow tents outside. In Oklahoma, rural hospitals are reportedly having increased difficulty finding places to monitor and treat ICU patients. Amid growing concerns about the Delta variant, U.S. officials and health experts have been actively encouraging people to get vaccinated, which the CDC had said remains the best tool to protect them from the disease.